when I come back out, I'm taking a leak on the side of the building. Police come around. He don't even try to stop his car before he skip his foot. I come here. You know what I mean? So I come here to him, and you know, I'm like, what's going on? Real calm about the situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, he was like, what are you doing right there? I'm like, I'm taking a leak, man. <laughs> he gonna say some stupid shit. He say, um, how would you like for somebody to take a leak on your house? Oh, what are you talking about? But he was, he was, like, there, he was sitting up talking about some, uh, this is somebody's business and everything like yeah, that. Yeah. So he ain't supposed to be doing that type of stuff. I was just like, right. like you don't see all this trash out here? <laughs> all right, so, so here's, a, here's the thing. So he picks up a dirty can, a dirty 211 off the ground. Now, he was very good at it because I actually like 211s, but that particular can was not mine. <laughs> that particular can. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. But he picks the can up off the ground and he was like, Have you been drinking tonight? I'm like, Nah, I ain't been drinking. We were straight in there. You know what I'm saying? He was like, Nah, he ain't been drinking all that. You know, everybody was like, You were drinking whatever. Mm -hmm. He said, Let's see, I did. No, I mean, you know what I mean, he took the ID, whatever, he looked it up. Yeah, I had probation violation. Oh, man. So, how long were you down for? <laughs> uh, it wasn't that long, probably a couple of days. Or something. Oh, okay. You didn't do no hard time. No, nah, I ain't go to prison. I ain't okay. go to state. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, <all right. laughs> you had to get that man out of there. <laughs> so, Gideon, how did you come up with the idea to make this movie? Mm. I know you say you're inspired by y'all and all that, but where did the actual vision come from? Um, well, I mean, it wasn't no made up answer, that was a real answer, but I was just like, I knew I had to put together a, a short film soon, I didn't know what I was, what it was going to be about, mm -hmm. but I saw Sika, um, before, before on stage with Slim and just before period, and I wanted mm -hmm. to put her in, in a picture, okay. and, um, I mean, I was just sitting down, and the rope wrote you fence the hotel, and I was like, man, yo, I got to do something, I got to put together something to... Shoot, so I skill, so I uh worth. Right. You know what I'm saying? I got a question. Is this your first film? This is my first film. I did documentaries and stuff like wow. um, music videos. I mean, so I didn't just jump out the water or just jump into the ocean, you know, not know how to swim. You know what I'm saying? I know how to tread or whatever. So, what was the most challenging part of the movie? Most challenging part of the movie for me was the um, what's the homeless scene. Okay, why is that? Uh, the homeless thing, I had to actually get into that mood. Now, I'm not going to front like I haven't been down before. And anybody keeping it real know they've been down before. You know what I mean? So to try to have to act that out again, once you climb up out that hole and you're straight, you don't want to even feel that feeling mm -hmm. no more. To have to get myself back into that zone mm -hmm. to play that particular part was kind of challenging for me. Okay. You know what I mean? So when, when you actually see the film, the, my facial expressions are probably realistic to the motherfucker. He was like, man, goddamn, I can't wait till we finish this scene. <laughs> like, like, we'll do this shit right, Before but, yeah, the you know. film actually started, he um, told us something about friction. And at first, you know what I'm saying, I was understanding and listening to him about it, but I didn't really understand it until we started filming. When I tell you, every time that we had something to film, there was something in the elements that either messed something up and like having to stay in character, having to stay focused, that was probably like the most difficult thing, dealing with friction, just period, like stuff that you could not control, period. And that was like really difficult to have to deal with and then be like, okay, we got it in this moment and we need to get it right now. Mm -hmm. It was like sometimes really difficult. Like sometimes we were outside at probably 11, 12 o'clock in the morning and it's like 30 degrees. <sighs> and we had to take off our coats and we had to like, you're going to see the scene like, I'm in a tank top and it's like 30 degrees, yes, but... Wow. Of course you can't tell it and like like I said I said after we finish it's like kudos to people that make movies. Like yeah, 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 one, yeah, two yeah. hour damn, three hours, like kudos to them because With the time length Right. Yeah. The time length and like the effort and everything and the energy that we have to put in just for the amount of time, like is amazing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like dealing with all of that, especially yeah. dealing with the things that you can't pre prepare for. What she was saying about the friction, man, just in general, like I was telling some of my partners, I was like, a director can't be an average person. They have to be a unique or a different type of individual because for me personally, every single solitary time that we had a shoot, a set, or anything, it just an overwhelming list of adversity just start coming back to back to back to back to back. To back. 